Problem-based learning basically is a form of active learning where students are required to identify what they need to know and then they go out and learn it. Uh, what we do here in Mercer is we do a variant of that called case-based learning where students are presented with an actual patient case. It's a written case, but an actual patient case. The students read that, and as a group, they sit down and try to decide, okay, exactly what do I need to know to understand what's going on with this patient? And when we say that, we mean what do I need to know in terms of the basic medical sciences like physiology, pharmacology, biochemistry, et cetera. Uh, the tutor in our system is really more of a facilitator than a leader, if that makes sense. Uh, we do not lecture to students. Uh, we don't stand up before, in front of them and present material as much as we sit down and we discuss material with them. It's incumbent on the student to do the studying and bring material forward and be ready to discuss. So uh, each group has one faculty member at a time. So generally one faculty member for a group of anywhere from six to eight students, depending on the, on the campus and size. Um, the faculty member is not there to teach you, however they do facilitate conversations. So it is your job as a student to come prepared to class um, and having read the material and being able to converse about it with the other students. Um, each phase is about five to six weeks, depending on the phase and whatever holidays may be built in. And you meet three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, from 9 a.m. to 12, and there's usually a break at 10.30, which you will desperately need. And it allows for you to apply the knowledge that you've gained through reading the material and your time off in a group setting where you can talk about the material and ask any questions that you have. And usually everyone has the same questions. So it's nice to be able to draw things on the board and pull out our books because everybody usually understands a different part of the material. And then um, we can piece it together um, as a group and that was really helpful. Um, at the beginning of each phase, we are given a study guide as well as the cases that are involved. We usually have anywhere between 10 to 15 cases, depending on the phase that we're in. And we also, of course, have the study guide that lists all of the pertinent objectives that we're supposed to cover for that phase and the reading associated with each objective. It's very unique because we're able to go on our own and do the reading and uh, really try to comprehend what is going on and apply it to the cases that we're given. And then things that we're not sure about, we're able to bring those back to group and then discuss those and kind of work through some of the more difficult issues. And uh, every once in a while we get off track and so we've got the professor here to kind of reel us back in and tell us um, that you know we've either glossed over something we need to get a little more in depth or uh, we're just wrong, you know what I mean, which happens a lot unfortunately the first couple of years. At Mercer, with the problem-based learning, you it is conversational. So not only are you not sitting and getting one-way learning, you are it's it is multi-dimensional learning. You're getting kinesthetic uh, stimuli by, by writing on the board, you're getting verbal stimuli by talking with people, in addition you're you're getting stimuli from your reading. Um, and so people that are different types of learners who, are, who don't necessarily learn from just a lecture style are really um, provided multiple, uh, I guess, multiple facets of the learning experience in our curriculum. Just today, in group, um, one of my classmates were, she was writing a pathway on the, on the board, and it wasn't a very big pathway, but it was a real important pathway. And uh, she made mention of something and wrote on the board, and, and I didn't think it was quite right. Like the way that I had read it, I didn't remember it quite working that way, and I said something, and, and the room was probably split half and half on how it worked. And so at that point, we all grabbed our books and dove into our books, and, and it only took a few minutes, but of course she was right <laughs> uh, on the pathway. But what it did is there was three or four of us that might have had it wrong, you know, in our mind. And so there are, there are just little instances like that that you're able to um, just clarify in your mind so that you're not building upon knowledge that's aired, you know. My experience as a tutor has been a wonderful experience. It gives me a direct relationship with students and I can see when they're beginning to understand and when they're solving that problem in their head and the light clicks on and then I know that they have that information. I and mean, generally speaking, when they have it, they have it for good. Especially when it's reinforced with discussion with their peers and you see a recruitment of understanding 
between one student and the rest of the students in the group. Uh, what's great about the problem-based learning is that we're looking at a patient as a whole, we're looking at a case as a whole, we're not necessarily caught up in one specific aspect of the case. When we identify the important topics surrounding one of the cases when we open them, we are looking at all the disciplines. We're looking at pathology, we're looking at the farm that surrounds it, the neurology if it's applicable, biochemistry, histology, it's all involved in each case, uh, which is great because it integrates the knowledge more than just in a specific topic. Uh, but really makes you look at it as a whole rather than um, getting too focused or, or bogged down with just minor details. We're looking at the big picture.